Welcome back. Wow, we sure have done a lot this week um, in Chapter 15. So let's sum it up. So components of the endocrine system produce hormones to control many of the body's functions. The endocrine system consists of the hypothalamus gland, pituitary gland, thyroid and parathyroid glands, pancreas, adrenal glands, the pineal gland, and the gonads. Disorders affecting the system can have profound implications for the health of the patients. Extremely high or extremely low hormone levels can cause various illnesses. Hormones from the thyroid and the parathyroid glands excuse me, regulate blood and bone calcium. Patients may need to take medications to suppress hormone secretion or hormone supplements to compensate for missing hormones. Hormone replacement therapy or HRT is used to treat the hypothyroidism, which consists of natural or synthetic hormones in oral doses. Medications to treat hyperthyroidism, which can lead to Graves' disease, include sodium iodine and other oral antithyroid drugs such as propothyrosol or methimazole. Patients who do, do not respond to medications may need surgery. And pancreatic dysfunction causes two major problems that require medication. The first is the inability to digest food, and the second is the inability to regulate blood sugar. In type 1 diabetes, destruction of the beta cells of the pancreas causes a decrease or lack of insulin secretion, which is needed to remove accumulating glucose from the bloodstream. In type 2 diabetes, the pancreas produces adequate amounts of insulin, but the insulin does not lower the glucose levels, resulting in hyperglycemia. Insulin or oral Antihyperglycemic medications are required to lower blood glucose levels. Insulin preparation types are divided into rapid acting, short acting, intermittent acting, long acting, and premixed insulin preparations. Sorry for the dog. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> the hormones of the adrenal gland help regulate metabolism the immune response, blood pressure, and responses to stress. Corticosteroid medications are used to treat low or missing adrenal hormones to help with symptoms such as weakness, hypoglycemia, and hypotension. Cortisol inhibiting drugs such as metoprone are used to reduce oversecretion of adrenal hormones to treat hypertension and hypertension symptoms. Overall, patients need normally functioning endocrine glands. If this is not the case, the physician will use medication along with surgery and or radiation to return hormones to levels as close to normal as possible and to maintain optimum health. And this is where you will support the doctor in this. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.